What's happening guys, back at you with the nerd video. So in this video, it's going to be the February 2022 collectibles haul. So this is anything from Funko Pops to Blu-rays, just different collectibles and stuff like that. So I'm going to show everything I got during the month of February on this video. So sit back, relax, get your snacks, and let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to be showing y'all is all the Funko Pops I got during February. So this was a pretty um, heavily month this uh, this past month for February. Uh, a lot of pre-orders came in. Uh, I remember there was one day, like six pre-orders came in at the same time. I was like, damn, they sent all these pre-orders at the same time. But it was a lot of pre-orders that came in. And also, too, I was able to pick up some other stuff um, also that I wanted. So let's go ahead and get started and showing off the uh, Funko Pops I picked up this past month. So first off, I uh, really like Yu-Gi-Oh. I've been trying to collect some of the, most of the Yu-Gi-Oh monsters and stuff. So one of my pre-orders I finally got in was the uh, Wing Dragon of Raw from the GameStop. The GameStop exclusive Wing Dragon of Raw. This one is a pretty cool pop. It's a pretty big one, too. You know, six-inch deluxe pop. So pretty cool looking pop, I got to say. And I like the gold and stuff like that. But finally, I got all three Egyptian God cards or god monsters you know in the collection now with the this one at it you know so wing dragon raw i got the sky dragon and i got obelisk the tormentor so i got three all three egyptian gods monsters in the collection finally in pop form so yes don't fix that for that our right, next pickup is another pre-order that came in from uh target this time this is also a Yu-Gi-Oh dual monster so here we go we got the star dust dragon which is pretty cool exclusive to target it finally came in uh, remember pre-ordering this like maybe two or three months ago maybe and it finally came in glad that it finally came in and stuff like that so another Yu-Gi-Oh! dual monster added to the collection here all right getting into some other regular size pops this time so another pre-order came in huh i got a lot of pre-orders that came in this month they all decided to show up at once well not once you know all show up during this past month so another pre-order that i remember pre-ordering a few months ago is the holographic mandalorian pop entertainment earth exclusive this one is a pretty cool pop it has a really good glow on it also uh i wasn't really expecting this one this uh soon because it actually got emailed like a few weeks before they came in that was saying like it wasn't going to come in until like may or june i think but all of a sudden it just came in and <laughs> they sent it out to me so here we go we got the holographic mandalorian from entertainment earth entertainment earth exclusive all right, another pre-order. I don't remember exactly when I pre-ordered this, but I remember it was a, at least a few months ago. I pre-ordered it. So we got the Amazon exclusive Chrome. This is the whole Chrome, like full-out Chrome suit of the Mandalorian with baby Grogu, carrying baby Grogu right there. And I like this, the way this pop looks because the jetpack, he has a jetpack on there. And the way it's, the, you know, the, the blast is acting as a base for it too and it also comes with the pin there too pretty cool so amazon exclusive and when i say all chromed out i really do mean all chromed out the helmet's chromed out the uh armor pieces on his body are all chromed out even the jetpack is chromed out so this was definitely the one i wanted to get especially when a all chrome mandalorian because i do have the other amazon exclusive one that's supposed to be all chrome but it's only just the head that's chrome all the other pieces are not but i went a full out all chrome uh, Mandalorian so they had this one up I definitely pre-ordered it and it comes with uh, the pin also so pretty cool addition all right next up is another one that I was able to pick up I uh, tried pre-ordering this one this one did restock a lot but it kept selling out super fast like like seconds after restock it kept selling out and I kept missing out on it kept missing out on it so one day all of a sudden um I was just looking around on Amazon and it suddenly popped up for sale at the regular price the retail price there was and i jumped on it so quick and like got into the cart and bought it and stuff so i was finally glad to finally be able to get it so what i'm talking about is going to be the amazon exclusive glow in the dark three pack of the force ghost of anka skywalker yoda and obi-wan kenobi so this is the part of the movie in return of the jedi where they're on indoor and luke sees all three of the force ghost of them anakin skywalker yoda and obi-wan kenobi so I definitely wanted to pick this one up, but like I said, the restocks, it restock and sell out within seconds after restocking. I can't miss it out on it, can't miss it out on it. Then I finally be able to got it. So I'm glad that I was finally able to add this three pack to the collection. Next up is another pre-order that came in from GameStop, GameStop exclusive. So it's another Star Wars pop also. So what we have is the GameStop exclusive Jar Jar Binks. So um definitely wanted to add like a Jar Jar Binks, at least, you know, at least add Jar Jar Binks to the collection. And of course that original one is definitely up in price. And then I'm 
remember them releasing this one or you know having it up and showing it off for pre-order and stuff like that so i was like i definitely need to try to get at least one jar jar binks into the collection so i pre-ordered it and finally came in from gamestop gamestop exclusive jar jar binks so here we go jar jar binks is finally in the collection with his goofy self all right next up this was just a common pre-order i have ordered a couple pops off of gamestop because i was trying to get one specific pop and then i was just looking through some of the stuff and it had a couple things on sale so i decided to go ahead and pick a couple things up so one of the things i picked up was the dia de los muertos harley quinn so i like these ones the sugar skull uh kind of design on all these dc characters um i do have the blue beetle the glow in the dark blue beetle already i definitely like that one and i definitely wanted to try to get at least the harley quinn the batman and the joker i think there's a glow in the dark joker might be a glow in the dark batman too i gotta check on that but i definitely wanted to try to at least get harley quinn joker and a batman also too and i saw that they had it uh up on gamestop uh so decided to go ahead and pick it up so i actually like this design it's a pretty cool design and I don't even have this specific Harley Quinn yet, like the red and the black kind of outfit, the Joker kind of outfit that she has, uh, you know, that she wears sometimes. I don't even have that specific mold yet, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up because I don't have that mold yet. But yeah, we added another Harley Quinn pop to the collection. All right, so this was the main reason why I got the Harley Quinn, decided to get the Harley Quinn. This was the main reason I was looking for his pop, and I decided, like, um i haven't actually tried to get it yet i was like saying this is one of the few ones i'm actually missing so i was like i, def I definitely need to find one out there so i was able to find it on gamestop they had in stock on gamestop so what i have picked up is the nezuko from demon slayer definitely awesome pop she's one of the last few ones i haven't gotten yet i've gotten a lot of other demon slayer ones but this she was actually one of the last ones i haven't picked up yet so i decided to go ahead and pick it up and uh you know get a couple other things from gamestop too including that harley quinn that i just showed but yeah i definitely needed needed to add as it go to the collection so i did pick her up from gamestop and she's in the collection now and speaking of demon slayer one of my other pre-orders came in from demon slayer i was glad that this was finally coming in it kept getting delayed and delayed but it finally came in so what we have is the galactic toys exclusive tanjiro doing the hinokami kagura dance so this one's definitely pretty, pretty cool pop they did have a chase house glowing dark that would have been awesome to get but nonetheless i still got the uh, regular exclusive which is okay with me you know but um yeah this one's definitely a pretty cool pop I right, guys, this this is definitely pretty cool. So I'm glad I was able to add this to the collection. All right, this is another pre-order pop that came in. It actually came in just yesterday. And so I was barely able to fit it into this video for February collection because it just came yesterday. Uh, so what we got is the Amazon exclusive Glow in the Dark Ray Mysterio. This one kept getting delayed a lot of times also. But um, as soon as they announced this one, I definitely jumped on it to pre-order it because I do not have a Ray Mysterio pop. And... All the other Ray Mysterio pops are definitely high up in value. So they announced this one. I definitely jumped at pre-ordering it. And they had a glow and dark version. So I definitely wanted to try to get that one. And Amazon exclusive. So it finally came in. Amazon exclusive glow and dark Ray Mysterio. But with Ray Mysterio being one of my favorite all-time wrestlers, I definitely had to add him to the collection. So we finally got him. All right. We got another pre-order. Like I said, this is a bunch. This was a month that... Everybody decided to send them, send all the pre-orders into me and stuff like that. So another pre-order, this one from Pop in a Box. We got the Wanda Maximoff from Avengers Endgame. Definitely been wanting to get this pop, and it's also glow and dark. Also, the glow on it is pretty good. Uh, I like the way it glows red and all that on there. So pretty cool pop, honestly too. But this one kept getting delayed, delayed, delayed. I kept getting emails from Pop in Box every few weeks, or at least once every month, saying that this this pop has been delayed or order has been delayed i was getting that for the past few months already ever since i pre-ordered it and it's like finally they shipped it out to me finally they got some stock in they shipped it out to me finally glad to add wanda maximoff from avengers Endgame to the collection all right so this this next one i'm gonna show y'all is also was part of that gamestop order that i did with nezuko and harley quinn and i saw this pop on there and i definitely need to i definitely wanted to add this pop on there because it's actually probably one of the better looking ones of this this character so i definitely wanted to add this character to the collection anyway but it's also one of the ones i like a little bit more uh for design and all that so what we got is the pre px exclusive daredevil pop so this one is pretty cool i like the all red suit with the double d on his chest and you know just a cool looking pose he you know all red and all that so definitely cool looking pop i definitely wanted to add a daredevil to the collection so finally did all right, so this next pop is one I pulled the trigger on. This was a grail for me. I definitely want to finish the set. So after getting this pop, there's only one more pop I have left to finish the set out. So to show you all what I got, this holy grail of mine is going to be Light Yagami from Death Note. I picked up this pop on eBay. I was find, able to find it for actually a decent price. It was the only one I was able to find for that price. Uh, so I actually went ahead and picked it up and all that. 
So, yeah, definitely need to add Light Yagami to the collection, the Death Note set, you know, because I already have Ryuk and I have L with the piece of cake already. So, the only one I need left to finish the whole set out is going to be the L where he's just standing up. So, I gotta be on the lookout for that. But I definitely wanted to add Light to the collection of the Death Note, Death Note set. So, here we go. Finally, add this pop to the collection. And this is uh, one of my grails, too. So, definitely exciting to add this. All right, next up is another pre-order that came in from Amazon. So what we got is Arthur from Fire Force. This one is a pretty good show, a uh, pretty good anime that I was checking out. And I like the show, and, you know, the characters look pretty cool in pop form. So I definitely pre-ordered them, you know, some of the pops in there. So we have Arthur that came in, which is pretty cool. It would have been cool if his sword would glow in the dark or, you know, some of the stripes on his uh, Fire Force, um, you know, outfit would glow in the dark also too because the way they look in the show kind of looks like it's kind of glowing and stuff like that you know but uh nonetheless it's still a pretty cool looking pop i'm glad i was able to add it to the collection and sticking with fire force another pre-order from amazon that came in is going to be iris so she's another character from fire force pretty cool character I definitely wanted to add her to the collection also since i'm getting some of the other fire force pops but yeah here we go we got iris added to the collection now all right next up is uh kind of an older pop but like it's definitely one i need to get into the collection because I actually plan on getting this one signed very soon so that's why i didn't decide to go ahead and pick up this pop and i just went in collection in general because it's a pretty cool pop so what we have is the first ever all might pop that came out i remember um you know pick, i picked this one up because i'm actually going to uh comic con pretty soon so i definitely wanted to get it signed by the voice actor christopher sabat uh get him to sign this pop right here yeah so that's the plan right there so that's why i ended up picking it up and also too i just went this specific one in the collection anyway because i didn't i didn't have it you know with him with this pose and all that stuff like this so decided to add to the collection anyway so here we go all might is in the collection now all right sticking with my hero academia here's another pop that i need to add to the collection just a common one that i missed out on a few times and just you know need to add it to the collection anyway so what we have is tokoyami from My Hero Academia, pretty cool quirk he has. I like his quirk the way he's a pretty cool character in the show too. So just a uh, you know regular comment, but I need to add it to the collection anyway. Um, so yeah, went ahead and picked this one up. All right, next up is another pre-order that came in from GameStop, but this is also another My Hero Academia character. So what we have is Ezreal unbreakable form this is a definitely a pretty cool pop and it's the gamestop exclusive one which is metallic so definitely cool looking pop i like the way they really made it look like his unbreakable form in the show and looks so awesome and such a cool character uh so yeah definitely wanted to add this one to the collection i pre-ordered it as soon as they announced it so yeah finally came in this past month so yeah great addition to the collection all right with the addition of those pops i actually got a couple of signed pops this past month so let me go ahead and show y'all those real quick all right, first up, uh, Toy Temple, uh, Toy Temple, sorry, Toy Temple had these up, uh, they put these up on our website, uh, and definitely wanted to add this, uh, voice actors to the collection, you know, at least one of her characters, I do have her other character that I do plan to get si uh, signed eventually, but they did have that one on the website, where I was like, well, I already have that pop, and I'm already gonna try to get signed eventually anyway, so I decided to go ahead and go with the other character that they had on there too, and you know it's, it's a cool character for the show too i like this show anyway too but um the one sign pop that I picked up is going to be yamir from attack on titan this is signed by the voice actors for her elizabeth maxwell so definitely a pretty cool addition to the collection they had a pretty good deal on it too so i went ahead and decided to go ahead and pick it up all right this next pop that uh this next sign pop uh, i should say is from plastic empire they had a sale on this pop and it was a pretty good sale, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. So what we have is signed Suki from Avatar, the last airbender signed by the voice actress herself, which is pretty cool. And it had on a pretty good price on it and had it on sale. So I decided to go ahead and pick this one up too. So yeah, definitely wanted to add more characters from Avatar, the last airbender to the collection since it's one of my favorite all-time shows. So definitely wanted to add this one. All right, so next up is going to be one from Seven Bucks a Pop, one of their uh, signature series uh, autographs that they've been doing. So... This one has been up there a while. It's actually the only one that hasn't sold out yet for Lord of the Rings. And like I saw it on there when I was just looking, browsing around, looking on there. And I decided to go ahead and get this one specifically because in a few months, there's another Comic Con I'm planning on attending that will have all the Hobbits from the Lord of the Rings. And they're going to all be signed autographs and stuff like that. And I was looking at their autograph price and they're basically like $80 or $90 each person is for their autograph. And I don't have this pop yet either, so I went had to go and buy this pop, which is valued at about twenty five to thirty dollars, uh, you know, around there. So that you're looking at like over a hundred bucks total to get the pop and get it signed too by that character. But 
seven bucks a pop. They had this pop up for sale. Not for sale. You know, they had it up there on their website. And it was like way below uh, what I would have been paying. You know, what I would have paid if I was going to get buy the pop and get his signature too. And this was way below. And it's already signed. This pop is signed and it's to have the pop rate in the collection too. So it seemed like a better deal. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger and got it. So what we have is signed Mary Pop from Lord of the Rings. This is signed by actor Dominic Moynihan. Uh, who played Mary in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. So I definitely want to get some more Lord of the Rings pops and Lord of the Rings uh, sign pops too, you know, have them sign them and stuff. So I'm playing on whenever that Comic-Con comes around in a few months, playing on getting all four Hobbits signed. Well, now three, since this one's out of the way, uh, playing on getting the other three to sign their pops too. So definitely was glad to add this to the collection and at least find it for a cheaper price too that I would have, ha would have had to pay. So definitely awesome too. All right, next up, so the next thing I want to show y'all is actually some pop protectors I ended up picking up from Zobie. I kind of been wearing these pop protectors for a while after I've been uh, seeing them around and stuff like that. And I wanted to buy some, you know, and Zobie had actually has some on their website for sale. So I wanted to decide to get them. So this this pop is not a new pop. It's just a, a pop I already had in the collection, but I just wanted to show y'all the protectors on what it looks like on the actual pop itself. So uh, we just have Tanjiro here from Demon Slayer. I wanted to, you know, put some of the Demon Slayers in Bloody Pops, and I have a couple other pops that I put in bloody protectors too that are like horror characters and stuff like that you know i decided to go ahead and put some of the demon slayer pops in bloody protectors because it kind of makes sense you know with the way the show is and all that but here we go we got bloody protectors here the way these bloody protectors look you can see so i do a 360 on these ones they look so cool the way it's like just bloody and stuff like that so these are some pretty awesome protectors i gotta say the way they look i like the bloody the way they look all bloody and stuff like that so i decided to go ahead and pick them up from zobi so if y'all looking for some bloody protectors definitely check out zobi for that all right, next up, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the Blu-rays that I actually ended up picking up. Like I was saying in the last month's video that I wanted to try to build up my Blu-ray collection, get some of the stuff that I've been wanting to get for Blu-rays and stuff like movies and anime and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and show you some of the Blu-rays I picked up. All right, so first up, I remember picking this one up a couple of days ago, I believe it was. Um, so, I mean, I have all these movies on digital, but like I kind of want them on like a physical copy, you know, Blu-ray kind of set you know going on and i plan to have a watch party for watch party marathon for this so decided to go ahead and pick it up so what we have is the eight complete eight film collection of harry potter on blu-ray now so that is a great addition so this is definitely pretty cool next up is one i picked up um like i just previously had a watch party for this and uh in honor of the batman coming out the batman movie the new one coming out decided to have a watch party for this trilogy and amazon had it on sale for a pretty good price and the way it just came with a couple extra stuff on there too. So what we have is the Dark Knight trilogy on Blu-ray. Uh, definitely wanted to pick this one up because it's you know one of my, well, some of my favorite Batman movies. So I definitely wanted to pick this one up. And the way the some of the stuff it comes with, which is pretty cool. Uh, so it actually comes with like a little letter from Christopher Nolan himself. He wrote down a little letter right there too. So I, I thought that was pretty cool. And it also comes with um, some posters, like mini posters, you know. But it actually came with like some mini posters. Y'all can see right here. Some mini posters that came with. They came with like five or so for each one of the villains. So we got like Scarecrow and like Raza Ghoul and um, we got Joker here. Look at this Joker. And uh, what's this one? Harvey Dent, Two Face. And we also got Bane here to represent all the villains that came out of the Dark Knight trilogy. So yeah, definitely pretty cool that it came with all that. And it was for a pretty good price too. So decided to go ahead and pick that up. That was a great addition. All right, next up, I got this one on sale on Amazon also. Uh, I gotta say, a pretty good deal. It's only like 10 bucks actually, too. Uh, so, even though I don't have like a 4K player, I do plan on getting like a PlayStation 5 in the future. So, eventually, I will have a 4K player. And I do want to get some movies on 4K. Uh, so, they had this one on sale. And it comes with the Blu-ray. So, it's like, I'm not going to have to wait to watch it. It's where it has a Blu-ray disc with it, too. So, a 4K disc and a Blu-ray disc also together. And it was only for 10 bucks. So, I was like, that's a good deal. I better pick that up. Uh, so, what I end up picking up is the... Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse 4K Blu-ray Edition. This is both the disc on there, the 4K disc and a Blu-ray disc, like I said. Um, so I was like, might as well pick that up. It's only 10 bucks. It's not that bad. Pretty good sale on that one. So yeah, that's why I picked up the 4K um, 4K edition of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So, and it's pretty good Spider-Man movie also too. So definitely added this one to the collection. All right, next up is going to be an anime Blu-ray that I ended up picking up. I found this one online. I was able to pick it up. Um, I remember watching this show, and it was actually pretty good. And, you know, I was like, this is a pretty good show. Actually, let me go ahead and add it to the collection for, you know, anime Blu-ray collection, you know. 
So what I ended up picking up is the Prison School Blu-ray, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this is now in a collection, Prison School. It's a pretty good show, actually. Not bad. All right, next up is another one I was able to find on sale on Amazon. Uh, also, uh, I do have this on digital, like I was saying. Like uh, I have a bunch of movies on digital, but I kind of want them, kind of get one, get ones that are like on Blu-ray and stuff like that. You know, build up the Blu-ray collection. So this one was on sale on Amazon. Also, I found it, and I wanted to add it to the collection because it's pretty cool. So what we have is the Dragon Ball Z movie Battle of Gods Blu-ray. So this one is pretty cool because it comes with like two or three discs. I think it is. It's like it's the Blu-ray and the DVD combo pack. Uh, so it has the two DVDs. One DVD is the theatrical version and the other dvd is the extended version of the movie and then it has the blu-ray which has both the theatrical version and the extended versions of the movies so i thought that's a pretty good deal you know for the price it was it was on sale and it was a pretty good deal i thought so i went and decided to go ahead and pick it up but yeah this is in the collection now all right next up this so this set i have been trying to get for a while now trying to finish this set because it's just i i watched this these specific sets, you know, I didn't have them myself. I, you know, they're for somebody else's. But I used to watch these specific sets when I was younger and a kid, you know. So, one of the sets I picked up, I want to finish the set and get all of them. I have like a couple left. I think I have like two box sets left to get. But uh, nonetheless, I ended up picking up this one on sale. We got the Season 7 box set of Dragon Ball Z. I like these orange box sets. They're pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'll get the Blu-rays or not for Dragon Ball Z, but I definitely like the orange box sets because it just reminds me of when I used to watch them as a kid and stuff like that too. And you know, the specifically the original box, the orange box sets I used to watch uh, a lot of. So yeah, I definitely wanted to add this one to the collection. So we got season seven added to the collection. But not only did I pick up season seven, but I actually picked up another season too. Actually, I didn't pick it up this month. It was like more like in December, I think I picked it up. But I forgot to show it. But um, I did pick, end up picking up season five also. Uh, like back in December, I think it was. So season five is a pretty cool season. We'll get sale in this, this season. So yeah, definitely wanted to add all these. So I think I have like two left. I think I have season six and season seven, I think. Or I might have three. Actually, I think I might have three. I think it's season six, seven, and eight that I need to get. So I'll be on the lookout for those whenever they, um you know, try to get them too. So I can finish this set out of box sets because I definitely want fin to finish out this original orange box set uh you know finish the set out so definitely gonna be on the lookout for those ones to continue and finish the set out all right next up i'm gonna show y'all a couple of, like statue figures i ended up picking up so i used to have like a wolverine statue well, i still have it but i might give it to somebody but um i have a wolverine statue and it actually kind of broke like not broke like broke that much but like the claws only broke because they're like kind of um i guess they were like not flimsy just you know they just ended up breaking all of a sudden i don't know why but uh, they kind of broke on it so i was like well damn like I need to pick up another Wolverine statue. So I was looking and browsing around, uh, looking for another Wolverine statue. And I found a couple of few ones that I liked and stuff like that. But there was this one that's like, that looks awesome. I got, I definitely got picked that one up. So the one I ended up picking up is going to be the Old Man Logan one. Uh, Amazon had this one on their site for a pretty good price. And I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It's pretty cool. But uh, let me go ahead and show y'all. I don't know if y'all can see like in there. It looks pretty cool. But here's like a full picture more of it. I'll probably try to do a full review video on it, like a solo review video on it sometime. But one thing I like about it, not because it's Old Man Logan specifically, like I do like Old Man Logan. I definitely want to add Old Man Logan statue, at least to the collection. But one of the things I like about this statue specifically is that, you know, he's staying on uh, rocks and stuff like that. And you probably can't see it in this right here specifically. You can't really see it. But, um, and behind him, like right on the rocks right here behind him, like you kind of see it right there. There's actually an Iron Man suit that's decomposed, or not decomposed, just broken. A broken down Iron Man suit right here on the bottom of his feet right there that's on the rocks. And also, too, this shadow part right here, if you can see that, is actually Captain America's shield. It's like, it looks all scratched up and stuff like that, which looks pretty cool. So I think that's a awesome detail that they added. They have, like, the Iron Man suit where it's, like, broken up on a background of him behind him like that. And then you have, like, Captain America's shield also there, too, on, behind him. And just the way he looks, where he has his claws out with the jacket to the trench coat that he wears. It looks awesome. I got to say, it looks pretty cool. I like the way it looks. Y'all can see it. Look the way it looks right there. And if y'all can see it inside, I don't know if y'all will see it inside, but look, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, I definitely wanted to pick up another Wolverine statue. And I saw this one. I was like, this one looks really cool. I definitely want to try and get this one. So yeah, this is a great addition to the collection. All right, so I did end up picking up some Dragon Ball Z Ben Pestro statues. I didn't pick these up these, this month. Like, I didn't pick it up in February. These ones, they came in, I think, around December or something. I picked them up. But um, I forgot to show them in the previous video. And, you know, just to show it off. So, uh, one of the first ones we got is going to be Goku, his base form. And he's doing the Kamehameha wave. 
right there, which looks pretty cool, I gotta say. So it looks the way the statue looks. And the way I want to do like Van Pestro statues, I got, I, you know, I get I get one here and there, stuff like that. But I want to do it specifically, specifically for Dragon Ball Z, I want to do um, at least one, you know, like Goku, like for example, Goku, I want to get a Van Pestro figure for each one of his forms. So you get a you know, base form, Super Saiyan, and Super Saiyan 3, and so on and so forth, you know. And the same thing for Vegeta, I want to do that for Vegeta also, you know, get one for each of their forms, you know, that they have. But um, I didn't have a base form Goku yet, so I saw this one up, and... Believe it or not, Funimation had these on sale. Uh, the other one I sh I'm going to show, they had on that on sale also. So I was like, I definitely should pick these both up because they're on sale for a good, pre good, pre pretty good price. Uh, sorry, can't talk. But um, yeah, so they actually had this one on sale for I think eight or nine bucks. Can y'all believe that? Eight or nine bucks. Y'all know, and y'all know, Ben Pestro could go anywhere from like twenty two, twenty three dollars and up. It could get all the way up to like thirty and forty bucks for Ben Pestro figures, with depending on which one you get and stuff. But they had this one for like eight or nine bucks. I was like, score, like, yeah, let me get that. And I didn't have a base form Goku yet. So I was like, definitely, let me get that. So yeah, we added the base form Goku here. And he's doing the Kamehameha way, which looks pretty cool too. So yeah, definitely a great addition to the collection. And like I was saying, this one, this other one I'm going to show you guys actually was on sale too for about eight or nine bucks, I believe. Um, so I didn't have this form yet either in the collection. I was like, yeah, definitely, I didn't get this form in the collection. So we have Super Saiyan God Goku. And I like this uh, statue too. It's pretty cool. The Blood of Saiyan Special Edition one. So this is definitely pretty cool. You can see right here. The way he's like in this pose. And it looks pretty cool. But uh, yeah. Like I was saying. I'll probably do like individual full review videos for each one of these. Um, so yeah. I can be able to get better looks at them. But like I was saying. I was able to pick up these two for eight or nine bucks each. So definitely a pretty good sale that they had on Funimation during the month of December. All right, so this next one was actually on sale also uh, from GameStop. GameStop had like a statue sale. Uh, I think this was during November or it could have been December. I don't know. It was like one of those months. But like I forgot, like I was saying, I forgot to show this one too in a previous video. But um, yeah, I had like, um, was able to get on sale and I don't have this character yet in the collection either. So decided to go ahead and pick it up. But um, yeah, so this ain't the actual price it was. It was like, it was like way lower than that. They had stuff on sale. But uh, nonetheless, I was able to pick up the Gogeta from Dragon Ball Z, which is pretty cool. So, you know, fusion of Goku and Vegeta, you get Gogeta. So, definitely pretty cool. I definitely wanted to pick up this character and add it to the collection. So, I'm glad I was able to find it for, find it on sale and pick it up. So, yeah, definitely awesome. All right, so the last things I'm going to share on this video, like I did in a previous video, I uh, ended up picking up a couple of t-shirts that were on sale at GameStop. Like I was saying, that GameStop has, a lot of times they have sales on their t-shirts that go up, you know, they have like a $5 sale or they will have like a buy one, get one free sale, stuff like that. So I just got to be on the lookout for that stuff. So I remember picking these up on sale because I don't usually pay normal prices for t-shirts. You know, t-shirts at GameStop, they usually go like 20 to 25 bucks a shirt. So I was like, I would usually just wait for the sales. You know, they had a $5 sale or they will have like the buy one, get one free sale. And I usually wait for those sales and stuff like that to go up. So I ended up picking up two shirts actually this past month. And I remember seeing this on the website. And I was like, I definitely got to get that shirt. That shirt is like the meme of Dragon Ball Z. Everybody knows it. And just the way this character is. So it was definitely a pickup. Uh, definitely one I wanted to pick up. And I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I definitely got to get that. So what we have is a Yamcha, dead Yamcha shirt. <laughs> Y'all can see right there. Dead Yamcha. This looks so cool. Like, look at this. <laughs> dead Yamcha. Pretty much the meme of Dragon Ball Z. Yamcha is Yamcha character. Uh, Yamcha is the meme character of Dragon Ball Z. So, definitely pretty cool. Look, I can see how he's dead in the crater. <laughs> so, that was definitely a pretty cool shirt. I definitely wanted to pick that up and add to the collection. And uh, another shirt that I ended up picking up was this Yu-Gi-Oh shirt. And I was like, I saw it and I liked the way the colors were and stuff like that. And it was like, this is definitely a classic battle in Yu-Gi-Oh. So, I was like, I definitely need to pick this one up. It looks so cool and it was on sale. So, might as well. So, what we have is the Dark Magician versus Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is a very classic battle in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, so I definitely wanted to, you know, pick it up. I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It was on sale, so I might as well pick it up. And it definitely looks pretty cool, the way the colors look and all that, too. So, yeah, definitely a cool addition to the collection. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for everything that I got in the month of February. All the collectibles, Blu-rays, Funko Pops, statues, and shirt, T-shirts, and all that stuff that I got during the month of February. Uh, yeah, I kind of went crazy this month with stuff I got. A bunch of stuff I got this month. This past month of February, and so that's why the video is so long. Apologize if the video is too long for y'all, but yeah, I wanted to show everything out that I got during February in at least one video, one full video. So yeah, that's how it goes. So 
Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, I'm glad you did. But that's going to do it. If you want to be a part of Team Legendary, all you got to do is subscribe and turn notifications on. So you know when I post another video. Hope you all have an awesome day. And remember, be legendary.